So we noticed something when we were coming here that caught my eye. But man, that is bizarre. But I want y'all to check this out. Man, this has to be a result of the world malady that's went on. And no business and stuff, but I just want you to check this out. Check out all these parasail boats. Now this is only a few you're seeing and a great big catamaran right there too. Look at this. Big old catamaran. I mean, it's like a big old deck. It's this diamond yacht. Actually, it's a trimaran. It's got a third down the center. All stainless steel canopy and all up there on it. It's probably like a tour boat or something. But but that's not all. That's not all. And you see these. Uh, Diamond, Baraka Island. You see all of these right here. These parasail boats. There's a whole bunch more. This isn't all. Uh, I want to show you more. Boy, check out those waves, man. Big old waves rolling in, boy. You would not want to get caught in that water. <laughs> that stuff right there will suck you away. Oh, there's some down there playing in it down there. Well, I did that one also, but you can tell the current of the water was ripping. It's ripping that direction. Yeah. yeah. It has one heck of a rip tide in it. Oh my God, it's I Actually, right there where they're breaking, that'd be fun to hang out in. You yeah. see them down there? Now, this still is what I want to show you, but I'm going to show you. This is an abandoned ship down here. It's run up on shore. Let me show you right there. You see that? Oh, abandoned ship run up on shore. Some kids playing down there in that water. Right there near there. But that is still not what I want to show, but hey, it's a beautiful view here. Let me zoom back so you can catch more of this mountain and all here. Very beautiful, beautiful sight. So we go back to normal there. This is all like a fine stone right here. A lot of sand it's all like a fine stone all right well let's check this out i don't know who these belong to but i'm just being nosy nobody's come out and bothered us or anything but here's that big trimaran and apparently it had uh, a single outboard running on it right there i can see where the outboard mounted because these top two pontoons don't have anything you can see all the control cables, everything, uh, the hydraulic steering lines, everything right there for it. So it was running one single outboard motor. Man, this is a, that would have had to been a big outboard to be pushing this big old craft right here. Because this thing is huge. But look at this, a whole lot more of these boats. Look at this, man. Just many of them. They're all up in here. This is not the same ones you've seen a minute ago. This is more of them. There's even more all down here. You see, there's another one there. All around in here. Maybe nobody will get mad if I'm here. But I love boats, and I just want to check it out. You know, I just, I like it. I'm a water nut when it comes to all that. I'm sure these are some kind of local-made boat pretty cool though and that's a big boat right here this thing's probably 35 foot long yeah it's probably at least 35 foot long pretty good sized boat a couple more of them up in here and they had they had inboards in them you can see right there inboard outboards they've taken the the out drives off of them. I bet them jokers are heavy because this is uh, not a true fiberglass. It's built kind of like that boat I have there at my place. They'll take and a lot of times it's like a, a wood that they'll put a thin layer of fiberglass and 
it's got a lot of that epoxy and stuff underneath there you see how thick that epoxy is in shape it have a little bit of fiberglass in it man and they just end up being super heavy and there's a big old beast right here look at this big old beast right there well, more of them in here they're nice now don't get me wrong they're they're nice nice parasail boats uh i'm sure that when they were in their glory they were looking good see this built up with layers of wood and all in there many of them many of them more of them up over here past this goat see they're all up in here everywhere just look at that one after another diamond eight baby they all got names and they all had inboard outboards before one smaller boat right over here this one right here and it looks like it was set up for an outboard and this boat's kind of crazy looking because it's long and real skinny I bet it I bet it gets a lot of roll to it um, I don't like the design at all I tell you I just don't it was SB diamond water edge and uh, all up there with stainless steel canopy but I, I, I just don't I don't like the setup on it I don't I don't know if it keeps water out as good as it keeps it in but it looks like it's keeping it in pretty good Same thing, it's built like my old boat that I have there at Los Conchas. <clears throat> local boat, just local built here in the Philippines. But I, I'm, I'm not a fan of the looks of this boat at all. I do not like it. I think it's really ugly from the front and the rear. Wish they had a boat like these parasail boats that wouldn't as big. been something it'd been really cool to accommodate that diesel I got coming so somebody's living in one of these old boats right here so this one right here with all this they turned that boat into a place to live yeah they have <laughs> yeah that's become their home and I don't want to bother them there respect that big old boat so uh, then check out all of these jet ski chassis just these gutted out jet skis i mean they're just in here everywhere they're just stripped gutted everything out of them just stocks and stocks of old jet skis look at that now i don't know if y'all realize but used jet skis in the Philippines are expensive man it's like a lot of things here you know cars boats hiring motorcycles even the use prices on them are very high yep these were probably rented out jet skis before and I'm sure they have been treated rough you can see they've been ran up on the sand eats the kill up on them without kill guards you see they've been fiberglass repaired slammed into things you can see all this they have seen their day every one of them i see a lot of patchwork on till finally they just retired them but it's still interesting to see you know you don't see a lot of this in the philippines you don't see boats just sitting abandoned like this it's like these style boats um this is a very rare sight 
or to definitely see uh, gutted out jet skis and stuff like that because like their cars they usually keep them going and they use up everything in them to the last drop I'd almost bet that some of these boats they've got the all these out drops stored to keep anybody from taking anything I'd almost bet if the time come that they probably be dragging some of these back up refurbing them and putting them back out on the water pulling parasailers again I would just about bet I saw also right down over there let me zoom up I don't want to walk over there yeah right there you see that you see that right there um, that is a fiberglass mold for actually molding and making a boat yeah for we, we call it like, pulling a part out of you know for going in waxing that getting a, a layer of wax on it and then come in you put your gel coat over the top of that wax then you you do your first fine layup of resin and fiberglass and then you do however many layups you want to do on there and then you'll put your heavy weave in that gives it a lot of strength and so you start the boat backwards you start with basically the paint first that's the outer color it starts first up against the wax and you you build backwards you don't build it first then paint it in a mold. Looks like Mel's found some interesting stones she's picking up. This stone is kind of illegal. Wow, those are very interesting. That is cool. You know the pattern? And yeah. I like to collect stone like different places we went. Just so we know. Like, I like unique Yeah, stone. they are beautiful. Beautiful the, stones. Every pattern is different. This is kind of unique. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Guess they didn't mind me looking at the boats. Those guys that are staying right here amongst them, they they came out and just smiled at me and waved and just like they're happy go lucky. And not a problem. That's something else I love about the Philippines here. You know, is uh, everybody's just so cool and chill about everything. I, a lot of places you go back where I'm from in the U.S. and all, you go pulling up place and walking around, they might get some lead in you. You know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but it's just different here. They're like, yeah, you know, I'm surprised I didn't get a tour. That's usually the way it goes, too. They were just cool and fine. All's good. If you want to get a few more, I'm not in no big hurry. No, I'm It's kind of slippery, but it's kind of... It's pretty. Yeah, I mean... Let me hold a few of them in one hand here. I can't hold them all. I might be able to hold them against my shirt there. Grab you a few more in your hand there. These pipes, these are gonna be used also before I guarantee they had these set up using them for pontoons on some kind of rig that's why they're turned up on the end i bet and they've been fiberglassed on the joints i could tell by the way the other ends were closed up too yeah they had these on some kind of local made boat before too for pontoons they just used some big old pipe yeah i'm not wanting no boat this size like this or nothing not at all but i just enjoyed to stop here and look at them look at their design how they were built their um the way they lay that up for strength it ends up just so heavy these are super heavy boats <laughs> 